just want to say first, it looks like I'm the only person not trashing this film. Um, I think it could be the horror film that Get Out should have been, because Get Out basically started off well and did a good job of race horror, and then it went on a stupid science fiction bent for the end and ruined it, and I hated it for the ending. Um, but this looks like a serious attempt at race horror, and I think it's getting trashed unfairly. Um, and another thing I want to say, there is some um, conjecture as to the name of the character. Her name is Karen, first name, but some people are saying her name is White, and I've seen it quoted as both White and Drexler. So whether her maiden name was White or her maiden name was Drexler and her married name is White, I don't, I don't know what name she has in the film because they don't say, but I'm seeing both are being um, reported, so I'm not sure. Karen White would be a bit on the nose, but um, I'm Stephen White, so, you know, and I'm White, so it happens. Hello, Steve White, Steve White 39. Well, um, yesterday I did a video about Karen, the uh, preview for the film. Um, I was really disturbed by Az's, um from Hill vs. Babyface's take on the film, his gaslighting, um, his, um, his subscribers, and um, lying about some of the dialogue and trying to act like Karen wasn't actually a racist. It was just really bizarre to watch. And then I noticed other people were picking this up because it went on, like, the Twitter sphere, basically. And basically, it's like all the fandom menace people have got the memo, they've all been given their talking points, and they're all doing the same video. They're all making fun of it, all suggesting that Karen isn't racist, um, and just mocking it because they have to. They have to minimise it because they can't allow it to be taken seriously because... It actually represents on some level, even even though it's a horror film come from a meme, uh, it's represent, representing the, the horrific experience a lot of black people have with um, white racism, um, that you do get this sort of harassment. And it's, it's, it's just so bizarre, because when I saw this, I'm like, I know this is happening to people. Um, they're making it a horror movie with a villain, rather than um, like a general thing that just happens all the time, because it happens all the time. Um, but it's still something that's happening, it's a real thing. So to see people mocking it, uh, it's just bizarre. And to see them all have the same talking points, and, and it's, it's kind of funny. But um, And Mr. H was probably the worst, because he didn't even know what BET was. Now, I was pretty sure it was Black Entertainment Television um, and their movie division, but it didn't actually say that, so, you know, I, I had to, like, double-check. I'm like, yeah, it's bet, because um, they, <laughs> they when, when Prince died, um, Madonna did a tribute, and they trashed her for it, so I've known, been, known about them since then, because I didn't realise that they had their own... I knew they did um, their awards and all that, but I didn't know they actually had, like, their own studio and everything, but they're making films as well. Um, but he didn't even know that, and he's like, who are these trash, who are these people? I'm like, did you even Google? Did you even research? Like, you didn't already know? Did you? No, of course not. And Coke Daniels is indeed a black man, and he has done uh, a bunch of films. He's been working for, uh, I think, a decade in um, Hollywood. Um, and the, the thing that Miss H was saying that was interesting was saying it should have been a comedy, and that's totally wrong. It's not funny. There's nothing funny about racism. There's nothing funny about systemic racism and um, the kind of people who call up the police on black people and have them arrested or harassed um, or killed in some cases, there's nothing funny here. There's nothing funny about this. Having it done as a horror movie is interesting because it is a horror movie that people are living all the time. Um, but it could have been done as a comedy as well because, like I said, there's two levels of Karen. There's like the, the sort of domestic um, customer service, I'll get your manager Karen, and then there's like the, the, the race level um, racist Karen who are really scary. Um, and they could have done a comedy out of the, 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 the domestic sort of Karen, the, the funny sort of, um, the stupid, because some of those people, the, the, um, the things they complain about and the things they call about and that stuff is ridiculous and funny, and you can, and a lot of the jokes are funny because the people are ridiculous. And a lot of the videos are funny because the people are ridiculous and they make an absolute joke out of themselves. But then the other ones, where they're calling specifically on black people, because uh, Mr. H was saying how, well, anyone can be a Karen. It's not. It's, it's a state of mind. It's not. A, it's not race. Racial. It's not a, a skin color. I'm like, well, yeah, no, it kind of is. It's specifically white women who are entitled to have the power to call and have people actually take them seriously. That's why they're dangerous. That's why they're scary. Um, the other, I guess, the, the more just whining about stuff and looking ridiculous. 
they're mostly white as well, but um, it's not quite the same issue because, like you're saying, if it is a Chinese person or a black person who's acting like a Karen, no one's going to take them seriously. They're not going to get anyone killed. But um, a white Karen with some authority and um, just the attitude that they actually do have the authority and they can um, dictate what's going to happen in certain situations, um, they can get black people killed. This is not a joke. This is happening. It's not just police that are killing black people. It's it's um, just random white people. It's ha it happens. And the fact that people are acting like, what is this? What is this a comedy? I've not. I don't know. What, I've never seen this before. This is ridiculous. I'm like, this is real. It's actually real. It's actually happening. They've turned it into um, a heightened, you know, horror movie with a villain. But it's a real issue. And on some level, I guess they're trying to make that, you know, known. Um, I'm not sure what the intent of the film is, um, because are they exploiting the situation, or are they actually trying to actually point out what these people are like and how they operate and how they work and how things that seem really harmless, like someone complaining about someone laughing at dinner from someone, how that person can actually be someone that's actually dangerous. Um, because I've met some incredibly scary, violent, homophobic and racist people in my life and they come across like the perfect Karen and they are the most dangerous, the most dangerous person you'll ever meet is a white person with, um, with empowerment issues. Um, I remember, I remember um, someone, a friend of mine talking about um, as a woman being scared of sexual assault and stuff like that and she was saying she's not scared of um, you know, robbery or, or um, like people of colour or anything. She's worried about the white, the, the average white guy who is going to get away with it. That's who she's scared of. Not the scary guy in the, you know, the long black, you know, coat and, you know, the punk with the green hair or, you know, the, 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 the freaky people that all the white people are scared of and the vanilla white people are scared of. It's, it's, it's that, you know, it's that Karen. She was sort of talking about Karens before they had a name. Um, it's a thing. So, yeah, I just, I found it really funny that I, everyone, Mecca, everyone's doing the same video where they're all just laughing like it's funny. And of course they can because they're white. This is a, this is not the real world to them. They don't have to worry. And I was, and straight people as well. This, this is also, to a lesser extent, you know, something gay people deal with in their neighborhoods. Um, people that, you know, write, you know, faggot on, on their, on their door, faggot on their garage. Um, who trash their places, who pull their flags down. This, that's, this stuff happens and it starts usually on a smaller level. And if the gays don't submit and leave, or the black people don't submit and leave, it escalates. And if they fight back, oh my God, <laughs> you're an aggressive black person. Uh, you're really in trouble. Um, it's, 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 I don't, I, like I said, I don't know what they're going for with this film because it is a real thing that's happening. Um, and the fact that all these people are downplaying it and acting like it's ridiculous, like white people don't do this, this is just stereotyping white people, and how dare they make films on it. Like Mr. H was saying, it's creatively bankrupt. They're just playing on stereotypes, on white, white people, stereotypes of white people. Like Hollywood and the media has never played on stereotypes of black people or gay people or Asian people or like any other minority. But when you do it to white people, oh God, it's either the worst thing in the world, or it's just ridiculous. It's just bizarre to watch all these entitled, tone-deaf white people have no idea. And yes, I've already been called a white saviour, and white saviour complex, and um, what was the other thing the guy called me? Um, um, oh, virtue signalling. Because apparently, this, I can't even get into that mentality, I'm not even going to go into that, that's a whole other video. But um, I was reading some of Az's comments in his thing, because people were saying, oh, he's not racist, and I'm like, yeah, he is, and he's playing, in my humble opinion, and he's playing to a base, and you go and read his, read, read the comments, read the comments in the videos, and see the kind of people who are watching these videos, and celeb supporting and celebrating these people, and these sort of videos, and these opinions. They are the most vile, degenerate, um, deplorable people you will ever find. Well, maybe not ever, but um, they're pretty close. So, <laughs> going through reading the comments there, I was going to make a video just reading through the comments, um, but was, I couldn't really, some of the comments were just too, I'm like, no, I can't even do it. And so, no. so yeah, I just, I'm surprised it's turned into this much of a thing because it's being ratioed and downvoted really bad because of course all the white people, 
all the white people are out in force to make sure this this movie gets destroyed um, and gets mocked and uh, minimized and you know made fun of and, and it's 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 kind of scary as well. It's like all the Karens are out defending Karen. All these white people are defending Karen because Karen cannot be racist because you know. Lord knows we acknowledge anything. Lord knows we acknowledge any problems. It's all black people. It's all paranoia and race baiting. And, you know, they just want to cause trouble. It's not that there's actually a problem that they're um, not parroting. I don't quite know what to call it. It's, it's, it's not really putting a spotlight on it because it has that sort of exploitation element of horror movies and that. Um, and that sort of heightened drama and that, but at the same time, there are real cases that do go this far. Uh, so, I, 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 and there is a real problem actually in America now where um, with the rise of racism, uh, a lot of black people are arming themselves because all the white people are armed and they're coming for them. So we are seeing a very scary trend that's um and so like these situations where it ends in people killing each other it starts off with someone just being casually racist and microaggressions and it ends up with people shooting each other this is happening and it's going to keep happening and especially with more black people with guns the funny thing is i think you'll see once the white people in power realize black people have guns it's not just white people with guns who are using the second amendment we're going to find the the, the way those laws are seen they're going to be very different. Just like when the Black Panthers came up and armed themselves and became militant, that changed how gun um, gun laws and that were, were in the country back then. Um, I think we're going to see something like that because black people are arming themselves, seriously. The, the gun sales since COVID and since um, George Floyd have gone up incredibly. It's just it's just going to be a huge mess, and, and Karen's all part of it. So I'm going to go. I thought I was... Damn, already over 11 minutes. I was going to try and stick to 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, I just found it absolutely just just, just fascinating to watch all these white people freaking out over this and defending this, this fictional, Karen that, ca fictional character, Karen, that they have to make the victim. Because you can't have a black person be a victim of a white person. No, can't do it. They have, you have to dispel it. You have to diminish it. You have to make a joke out of it. It's it's just it's I don't know if it's unconscious or deliberate or it's it's just it's just I could go on about it forever because it's just I'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think thanks bye.